Hi, my name is Clark. I'm an instructor trainer with scuba.com and today we're going to talk about how to assemble a regulator. Now to assemble a regulator you need one little simple tool and that's our own tool master. It comes with an o-ring remover, allen wrenches, different size open end wrenches, flat head, Phillips head, and comes in a nice stainless steel case. Before we assemble a regulator, let's look at the different stages. You've got your second stage, which is the device that we actually put in our mouth and breathe off of. We've got the first stage. Now, the second stage is connected to the first stage via a low pressure hose. The low pressure hose goes into a low pressure port. Regulators have low pressure ports. They also have high pressure ports. Before assembling the regulator, we want to make it a point to determine that the low pressure hose for the second stage is attached to the appropriate port. It needs to be on the right side on the forward port. Secondly, we'll need to remove the low pressure port plugs for your octopus, for your power inflator hose, and then your high pressure port plug for either your pressure gauge or an integrated computer. I'm removing the low pressure port plug on the right side in the back for the octopus hose. I'm now removing the low pressure port plug on the left side forward for the power inflator hose. Now the high pressure hose will be placed in the high pressure port plug which is duly marked with the letters HP for high pressure. We're now going to attach the octopus hose to the first stage. That's going to be in the back right hand side port plug. We're now going to add the low pressure power inflator hose to the low pressure port on the left side forward. We're now going to attach the high pressure hose to the high pressure port which is located on the lower left hand side of the first stage. We're now going to use the Scuba Toolmaster to tighten down the hoses. After placing the Toolmaster on the acceptable hose, you're going to tighten it down a little bit tighter than tightening a light bulb. And then repeat the step for the other two hoses. Once you have the regulator completely assembled, you want to put your first stage on your tank, make sure everything's working and there's no leaks. And once you know everything's working, for transport, you want to take your regulator and put it in one of our regulator bags. This will keep it padded so nothing happens to it during transport. 